News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky joins us now as we're talking about high school and I know we all have a lot of memories about those so days. So many <laughs> memories. Or did you have any classes that you really remember that were gave you something really practical that you learned and maybe it stuck with you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah aside from gym, I would say. <laughs> were you good at lunch too? Yeah, lunch was always good, especially on square pizza day. Okay, well, we're going to take you to a classroom where they're really learning something yes. very practical. We're taking you to Sumner County, where just a few weeks ago, a team of students took what they learned in class and literally changed another student's life. In this classroom, students are creators. You're supposed to be engineering, coming up with new ideas, solving issues, and um, just making things better than how they were. They used to be. The class called Engineering Design and Development is where this trio became friends. I've definitely made most of the memories that I've made here inside this classroom. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Not long into their semester, they added a fourth. Yeah, I didn't know them. So like I actually got introduced to them by the teacher. And then that's when they started working on it, and I got to be friends with them. Sergio Perota isn't in their class, but quickly became part of every class period. In my first years of school, it was, um, I had a lot of people ask me, like, what's wrong with, like, what happened to my hand? Lots of people. And I used to just say, like, even in kindergarten, I used to say, I was born like that. He was born with one hand that never so fully formed. Um, how I would work um, would be like um, carrying things. I would just carry them like this. Or like if I had a water bottle, I would just carry it like right here. And um, yeah, that's basically how it would work for the hand. Basically, I would like flex this joint and like, it would open and close. That's a way of life that Sergio didn't think much about. I feel completely normal. Yeah, no issues. I would just write with my left hand and like type with my left hand. It really wasn't that difficult. I got used to it. So like, I could do pretty much a lot of stuff, almost everything. The almost everything is why these students were tasked with building him a prosthetic hand. I didn't know Sergio when we were going to do this. We were kind of starting from scratch, but we were able to look at some previous designs from offline. And once we started with the idea, it went off from there. After four weeks of designing, 3D printing, and sizing to Sergio's hand, the class put him to the test with a game of catch. A new hobby he never knew was possible. I never expected this. Living without a hand for 15 years and they actually offered me to is actually pretty cool. No one has ever offered me this stuff. It changed my life. Little gestures with it, like something like this. Feels like I have my other hand, so like I, that's something I really like to do. Just like put them together like this, which is cool. I actually feel like I have a right hand. A life changed in a class they'll never forget. Never forever. I'm just going to remember it. In Hendersonville, Claire Kopsky, News Channel 5. Amazing. Just, isn't it amazing? Yeah. I mean, the students did this. Kids can do these things, yeah. right? How amazing. in the world do you have that mind power to be able to do that, to change this student's life? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. I'm not usually speechless after stories, <laughs> yeah. and I didn't really know what to say. It was really, I was just very, very impressed. And the other thing is this student was new to the school this year. He didn't know anybody, oh, wow. you know, to have people come and approach you to do this. I can't even imagine I the feeling from either. a parent's wow. perspective, too. Um, well, this teacher also, Mr. Wilkins, was the one who spotted Sergio in the high school, and he's the one who first saw this opportunity for the upperclassmen, engineering students, and he says that he hopes that other high schoolers will also be inspired to use what they've learned in their engineering classrooms to help other students. To read much more about this project of building Sergio a prosthetic hand, click on this story on our website.